Alrighty everyone, so today we're going to be talking about the application, in my opinion, on Robinhood. Um, currently the market is down, um, it's closed for the day, as well as the stock market itself is down from what I'm seeing. Uh, now I'm not a financial advisor, this is all straight opinions and how I feel about the app itself. Um, so to start off, I think it's it's a simple app to use, very simple to get, get used to and um, maneuver around, but it's not as advanced as the other applications and apps that um, I've seen. Like I've seen Weebles pretty, uh, really pretty advanced. I mean, I guess you may be able to do similar things in each app, but um, this one I've seen is just the simplest, pretty just bare bones, which a lot of people would like that. I prefer that um, bare bones because I'm still new. Um, I'm still fairly new. I started about a year ago, about a year and a half ago now, I believe, in investing. So, yeah, let's start off. Uh, again, I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, today the market is closed, so I actually can't really get in on anything. But I've seen a lot of stocks go down, and I could say this much, I bought the dips. <sighs> um... I feel like being that everything is down right now, just my opinion completely, but I feel like it's a fairly good time to try to get in on like say you know, safer stocks. Um I saw I believe Coca Cola is down, three M is down. I'm definitely thinking about getting three M in the future. So, um Yeah, I'll see what else I got. I just picked up I picked up some silver miners. Um, of Cisco, AT and T is at twenty three right now and change. Um, I don't know if you guys heard. I I watch uh, the Dream Green show a lot. They mentioned this app, um, this stock called um, ChargePoint. It's kind of like, I believe they make the um, the chargers for the electric vehicles. So you know it's worth probably worth getting into. Just hit like thirteen, fourteen dollars. Seems like a good price point. I'm not. Not 100% sure, but I mean, one day I hope to go all electric. Uh, as you guys may know if you follow the channel, I have a uh, hybrid Honda and works pretty well, but it's not a plug in, sadly. Uh, I picked up the in some Intel. That one got down to 48, I think, which is like really low for Intel for now. Orkin Island. AGNC, again, it's like down to 1348, so. My um, my portfolio took a hit, but I'm not worried. I'm like I said, I'm not worried about all that. I'm just worried about the overall investment for the time to come in the future. So if I can get them cheaper and they'll still be paying a dividend, hopefully they'll still be paying a dividend, then I made a good investment. Simple as that. If they drop the dividend or if the dividend disappears, then that's really gonna suck. Um, you know, it's hard just starting off, but this past year, um, I don't know if you guys seen in my last video, uh, I've been making, you know, very small, minimal, um, dividend payouts I've been getting, which is nice. You know, everything counts, every dollar from all these companies, and I have a lot of, uh, dividend paying companies, so every dollar counts, every penny counts, I don't really mind, um, now, I see, maybe I'm just looking ahead too much, but I see the account growing over time for sure. Um, there are some companies that are a little bit more debatable that I'm involved in. So, just, you know, just be aware if you're looking into any of these. These are just all my opinions completely. Nothing's factual. I do feel that my account will eventually grow over time. Um, being that it's only been a year, it's just not enough time. All the dividends have... Um, the end dates and the start dates, etc. Uh, some of them just have not kicked in yet, so I'm sure I'm not getting the full. I did drop quite a bit this um, this week when I saw everything was like a nice price point. I do want to get, like I said, I want to get Coca-Cola. Uh, Realty incomes down. Uh, I want to pick that up. Avi. I actually don't know if Avi's down. I think it's actually up, but. To be fair, I've been wanting to get more of that. They pay pretty good. Uh, I picked up some Gap. 
just a lot, just a lot of companies I like to look into. It's like primarily stuff that I would either like what I heard from the Dream Green show. It's kind of like if you're gonna buy something and you need, you feel like you need that item, there's a good chance that you should probably be invested in that stock. And he's there. He's a hundred percent right. You know, Nike, freaking Gap. I want Kellogg's because I just eat a lot of breakfast and that's like my main meal but yeah um stocks are currently down oh let me let me talk about something with uh with you guys so i was involved in the drip and uh reinvestment plan i set up a lot of them to reinvest on the drip well to reinvest as far let me rephrase so when the dividends come in you can set up the app to automatically reinvest into the stocks right back into them. The problem is what I'm seeing, I don't know if it's 100% true. I don't know if you guys had the same problem. So say 9.30 hits and the stock uh, stock market just opens and the stock's down really low. For some reason, it won't buy there. It might not even buy at 10. It might not buy at 10.30. It might buy at 11 when it's like its highest. From what I'm like, it's strange. Like, why wouldn't it buy at the lowest point? Like, maybe it's just trying to figure it out. But either way, and then there's days that like it's super high in the morning, 9:30. It picks it up at the highest point, and then it drops down like crazy. So it's like, um, there's a lot of the stocks. Uh, that I want to put in my own hands in picking a time when I'm going to invest it because honestly I feel like something I like Robin Hood but I do feel like the drip program reinvestment plan is like there's something sketchy about it again I don't know how they're making their money but um, the fact that every time that it reinvests it invest, reinvested in, at the highest point of the day like it might wait till 2.30 to reinvest it the highest point like you know, just don't make it random. Well, what I'm saying is have a set schedule for the reinvestment because you're the re. It seems like to me, I've been doing it for about a year, like I said, a little bit, a little over a year. But to me, it looks like they're reinvesting at the worst possible moment of the day. Doesn't make much sense. Again, um, I still do do the drip reinvestment plan with some stocks if I feel like they're that good um like really income I keep my reinvestment on I don't really care if it invests high I don't care if it invests low I want them I want them to keep reinvesting in really income because it's a good stock and I feel like it can only you know not that it can only go up but it's gonna pay itself off I feel like I'm not 100% sure but um same thing like Apple all that it's like just for me, it's just like have it just reinvest. If it's like one of these newer companies or um, the company doesn't look so well, then I just won't put the drip plan on because I'll choose when I want to reinvest, and it's just for the better. Sometimes, you know, they make it like it's like very good, a good, a good idea to set to like set it and forget it, and like yeah, to some extent. But I like to. Invest when I'm ready to invest. Simple as that. Because more times than not, I've taken I've taken hits from them reinvesting it at specific times. It's not a bad application, and it's probably it's definitely not a bad program because it's random and they do it for you. But you know, it, it's a good. The app is fine in my opinion. You know, it's very simple, uh, easy to run through. Um, you know, it's got its advantages. Uh, dividends come in. A lot of the the other apps, for some reason, they don't show when the dividends coming in. They just kind of come in whenever. And um, you know, it's it's crazy. The other apps, are, some of the other apps, are a little crazy. Again, a little bit more advanced. The other apps too. So I stick with Robinhood. I also have a first trade. Like I said, uh, my links are going to be down in the in the um, description if you guys are interested in starting a robin hood again um set it set it up if you if you would like um you get a free stock i get a free stock 
starts us off um, pretty clear. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely worth checking out if you have a chance. Um, look into it a little bit. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor again, so don't take my word for it. But for me, it's it's been helping me little by little um, get my life together, and hopefully it'll help you guys. But uh, thanks again. Also, check out our new merch. We just dropped um, we just dropped some old Wrestling Madness merch. So we got that. We got the Robin Hood. We got the first trade. That's all going to be in the description if anyone's interested. Click on the links. Check it out. Use those uh, promo codes. Get some free stocks. Help everybody out. Thank you again. All right. I will talk to everyone soon. Um, nice seeing everybody. And have a good rest of your day.